hands in the, in the wires. Now it's just... Hey! Uh, let's see. That's rusty wire. Welcome back to another video. What's that? Please. Oh. Sign. No idea what it means. So hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry for the little searching part. Anyway, so as you read the title, again below. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is about the drawings. Yeah, but I, I'm not Bob Ross. I'm not Bob Ross, okay? So, you might be wondering, why isn't this guy draw? Why isn't this guy not drawing any pictures? Why is he just showing them? Just, it's hard to draw on camera. Okay, it's not hard to draw. It's easy. It's just hard to draw on camera. And I have been testing for I have been testing stuff to see how I can film a gaming video. So yay for all of you who like gaming stuff. But I doubt you know this game. So and anyway, so should we move on? First, we have the cutest pygmy hippo. This is the most green meaning. I just went totally green with this picture. Look. Yes, I will be using this as a pointer. See this? All this is, uh, is duckweed. And that's water. Rocks, rocks, rocks. More. Then we have a plant. More plants. Tall grass, another plant, and we have this colorful plant. This colorful plant is the reason why this picture looks colorful. That you see this, the, well, the shade of green just pops, but it's a lighter, but not as dark as these. So this and this stem, which is red gives a pop to the aesthetic which is brown and green with some pink now the pygmy hippo you might be wondering what's a pygmy hippo is it a hippo that, that wants to be a pig no it's not, it's not that it's a smaller version of a hippo your average common hippo that you see at zoos Yes, I will be uploading uh, a zoo video soon. Not sure when, but soon. Okay. Hmm. So pygmy hippos live in West Africa, unlike common hippos, which live in pretty much in the savannas of Africa. But I don't need to with pictures, because well. Uh, anyways, forget that. Forget the flaws and is it a thing? Uh, the common hippos live in Af the savannas uh, where there are pond uh, ponds. They can't live in ponds, they're too big. So they like basically live in rivers and lakes in the African savanna and they're hunted by lions. Very interesting. And these pygmy hippos, even though they're even though they're not hunted by lions, they're very rare because they live in the well, West Africa is basically a jungle, a forest, a rainforest, so very rare. So that's why I went for this overgrown, bushy feeling, which is why it looks amazing. The only other rainforest picture I have uh, does not have that much greenery because. It's just a monkey and 
be found and forests when you're, you're doing a monkey. By the time you do a branch, just a branch with some leaves. And you'll see that later on. So a pygmy hippo eats, it, it eats plants like any other average hippo. And it does that at night. And yeah, that's it. And the babies are really cute. You can go search pictures. This is probably the page with two animals. I never did this, but I had to do it because the males and females of this of these species are different. You'll see. Flip the page. This is this was the page. This is the picture I was talking about. So these are black hover monkeys. Wait, he's not black. So you might be wondering if these are black hover monkeys, then why is this one orange and why is this one brown? Oh, actually, why is the baby brown? Okay, so this one, the black one, is a male. This one is a female, this is a baby. I did this to show the different colors of different genders and different ages. You see, it doesn't matter what gender the baby is, it's just gonna be this color. Or white. But I don't want that white. It'll look awkward in a white page. And I couldn't do it on a black page because of the male. It's black. So as I was saying, you can't add anything else other than leaves and twigs. Well, not twigs, branches. I mean, there are twigs here. So, how are monkeys? Hold on a second, guys. I have an idea. Hold on. Guys, hold on. Forgot to do something. I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back. I did something. I did it again. You might remember this from my old channel. From Primates of the World Season 1 Episode 5. I did this and I'm doing it again. You'll see what I'm talking about. So anyway, so you might be wondering, how can a monkey how? If you go to the Amazon Green First or any other place of South America where howler monkeys or well, black howler monkeys or any other kind of howler monkey live, you'll hear a monster. Not a monster, but them. It's a burping sound, which sound which is also kinda like a howl, which they make from the throat. But it's really loud thanks to a bone called the hyoid bone in the neck, which amplifies meaning Amplifies the sound meaning makes it louder. The sound bounces around that bone and comes out louder. And it sounds really weird. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come along, guys? <laughs> come on. Oh, and they're a vegetarian monkey, meaning they eat leaves, fruits, buds, and twigs. Anyways, face the speaker. That way you hear it better. This is a red holler monkey, but holler monkeys make the same sound. Yep, that's the sound. Very interesting that Something like this can make that. So anyways, that's enough for, for the hollow monkey. Now, the odd balls or odd barrels on legs. Saigas. This is most like the Mongolian saiga. I have no idea what the Russian saiga looks like. So, you might be wondering, again, why are they two? Well, see for yourself. This is a... Wait, don't go that close. Guys, look around for me. This is a female. And if you go around here, 
this one is a male. Now look, the male has this droopy thing. I guess it looks like a trunk, which is actually the nose. And if you go here, the male has horns. When you look at the female, female looks like your average antelope, but with no horns. That's why I do it too, but the way this picture turned out is very good. At first, I didn't like it. Now I like it. Okay, I'll show you closely, guys. Get a good shot. Yeah. So it's like the males are eating grass, and the female is just looking around while the cameraman took the photo. Hmm. So, so, if any of you are wondering, this is water, not rock. And these are the springs that I do. Now, time for the largest drawing, which I teach on a drawing, okay? It, it's kind of called a craft, actually. Drum roll, please. Now, this is not a drawing. This is from a t-shirt. Well, that t-shirt is gone. So this is, I bought the t-shirt from Safari, oh, look. Safari World, Bangkok. And when I went to Thailand, and that t-shirt became so very small, and so I decided, so my mother, behind the camera, decided to use it to clean the, clean face patch and eye patch. I patch his fish tank. If you don't know who they are, look right there, I think. No, wait. It, for me, it should be there, but actually, for you guys, it's there. So, I cut this out and use glue to paste it. All this is from like the front side of the t-shirt, and this is from the back side. It's cloth, so you... So guys, this is a very cute picture. Look at that. So cute. And... Which is why I'm doing this. You see, this isn't only... This is only an animal sketchbook. This is also a, kind of like a memory book. In a way. So guys, I, I have done the video. Oh wait. But I think I should tell you one more. Okay guys. Um, look at... Okay, f no, not that. I showed, you, I showed you the wrong lobster. This is the lobster. <coughs> Sorry. So, again, this has the same history, but this t-shirt is still being used. And something else, but I won't tell you that. That's secret stuff. So, this is, again, this looks very cute. Let's put the snap, snap, snap one. So I have to cut it out. So now, anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and snap the bell button. See you in the next one. Bye!